free energy okay. or induction of free energy. And it, since it is a since it is a free energy changes that that, that drive the radiation. Therefore, free energy are important. Okay. All right. So let's get back to your chapter here, and then we'll make a diagram. Look to this way. So, affinity to summarize, affinities to summarize can therefore be measured in terms of free energies. And since the two are directly related, so we've just looked at that. It was, that's called the thermodynamic theory of affinity, proved by Helmholtz. And it got universal. It became the in to give everybody some history lesson lessons. And after 1923, with the publication of Gilbert Lewis's on the chemical. Uh, Thermodynamics and the free energy of chemical substances, which is the Bible of modern of thermodynamics right now. It's the most cited thermodynamics publication in the world. The word, uh, what was formerly called affinities, got switched over, and we now use the term free energy. So it's finding Mirza is very unique in that it's uh, he's a person that able to speak in both languages. Most uh, physical chemistry students now. They don't speak in affinities very much. They speak in terms of free energies. But we now we see that the, the latter is a measure of the former. But Mirza understands both of them in his own mind. So now we're going to make a diagram to show how affinity to gas and free energy are related in terms of uh, escaping of a component from, from the other. So let's see here. You tell me there's something, uh, uh, some, so I'm going to draw, what, I'm going to draw a beaker. Social beaker. <laughs> Social beaker. We have two types of species here. Okay, so now we have species A, species B. This is a society.
have the social system here. Okay, so now we have social system. That, that is social. That is a social system. And this is a socialization process. Inside the, inside the beaker, uh -huh. It's the socialization process. Okay, social system, yeah. socialization process, yeah. social beaker. Social process. We've got species so, A. Socialization process. Species B. A and B are reactive. Reacting, yeah. The, the affinity, if it is positive, in that case there will not be much of evaporation and no frequency. May I say that again? Less, more the affinity, less, less the frequency. And the fugacity is going to be right here. Fugacity, right here. Okay, let me draw this. Getting out. Let me write it down. Evaporation ev off. Infinity is over here. So the affinities are down here. The gas is escaping tendency. Affinity will be. Affinities are the the forces, the interaction forces between A and B. These are the social chemical forces, the affinity. And the fugacity is escaping tendency. The, the probability of A escaping from the social beaker and going into, say, precipitating down into a new social beaker over here. This one we have. This is a uh, social beaker too. Social system one. So now we have uh, so we have uh, see so we might have a So species B wants to escape and become a precipitate and go into the solution. Precipitate.
So species species B B in this case, we're going to say if the affinities are low between A and B, it's going to have a high fugacity. It's going to have a high severe fugacious species B, and they're going to want to escape out of social system one, and they're going to want to come migrate out of the system and they're become a gas-based particle, and they're going to want to precipitate into the new social system B, where you have species C, plus you have some A and B. A and B. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to draw the free energy change for this system here. So do you want me to draw metastable state or just draw? Uh, what, let's see. I'll draw. Let's see. Let's see species. start here. Well, B, so B is reacting with what here? So we've got species B, one, as in this example, is highly fugacious species. It has low affinity or attraction to species A in the social system. So this could be the uh, Indian uh, Hindus, and this is the Indian Muslims. B. Yeah. If they, if they are reacting, they are reacting in social, they are reacting social in bigger. Information. So in before, before 1846, there was a lot of, there was a lot of, uh, there was less low affinity between A and B. So B, the, the Indian Muslims, they became fugacious species and they became evaporates. And this is the measure of the fugacity, the escaping tendency. And they escaped out of the social system and they became precipitates and then condensed into Pakistan over here. So then where, what do I draw over here? So I've got the diagram B, this reacts, goes through a metastable state one. People, people are getting upset. Upset. The, 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 the interaction was this, was not sure. So things are still brewing up. Still brewing. A, a, let's say a, a revolution was brewing up. Uh -huh. People were trying to find to, to to find a solution for for example in attaining freedom. Mm -hmm. That was a freedom finding. Mm -hmm. And here they were interacting, trying to get, get out of it. Mm -hmm. This is this shows the reaction. This shows the state where the reactions are taking place. Let me check. Let me check. The little guy bumped the camera. Make sure it's still working. Okay. So, okay. So, so right here. But I want the question I want to have, and just making this diagram, B has to react with something. B plus something to go. What am I going to put over here on this? What species? What what do I draw here? B has to react with something to go over to form 
Uh, do I draw A here? Here, here, here the, the, the whole reaction is taking place. Uh -huh. And so the uh, reaction is not positive. Yeah. The interaction is not positive. If the, if the affinity, if, if, if it was positive, then they, it may, it's it negative may not, it may not, they may not have to get out. Uh -huh. And fugacity may not be there. But the, the, this is a real case of revolution. Uh -huh. Interaction is, not, is, is negative. Yeah. The affinity, affinity is negative. Yeah. Therefore, in, the, in that case, there will be too much of too much of commotion, and the the, the, the system will have a larger affinity. Affinity of one one species A versus B will be, will be negative, and there will be the people will here it will be all a revolutionary stage. Okay. So this is what what year is here, this? Here there there may be force applied. Uh -huh. Force applied. If there is a, if, if there is some force applied in that case, <coughs> things may come down. Pressure uh -huh. is applied and things may come down. But if it if it continues, if the, if the interaction continues and it, if it is positive, in that case there will be observed. Here a revolution is likely to take place. Uh -huh. Something will condense, and then a, a product will form. The, that product, but this is a critical stage. Critical stage. This yeah. Activated complex formation is a critical stage. Here, either they will get uh, freedom, or they will not get. Uh, no, 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 okay. If they get freedom, they, they, the, the, the whole thing is precipitated out, and they, they get sufficient energy, mm -hmm. and then there is a positive change. Okay. And the, the product is formed. But if there is not, in that case, it will revert. Okay. So one question: uh, What what are the reactants and what are the products? What what symbols do I put here? What the, what, what the reactants the, are? The, are the, reactants are the, the, the reaction the reaction here is in the case. The, The reaction here is will be between the between the federal government between the government. That means the British uh, British people at the time who were in the, in the driving seat and the people in the in the uh, in, in India. Okay, but the question is what uh, we've got three so far. We have three species A, B, and C. Where do I put the, where do I put these letters on this diagram? C. C ultimately. The C is C is the axis right here. X. Yeah. The species and the Pakistani society. C is ultimately the government. C is the government. Yeah. The, that is applying the force. Okay. The, if that, the, if that, the, the, this is where the the force is being applied. Mm -hmm. A revolution is taking place here. And that okay. revolution how about in terms of how about in terms of dates, in terms of years of mm -hmm. when the when the revolution started? What year did the re revolution start? The revolution start. Then it was during our part of the time. So what year did this? This is medicine. This is this complex is, one. Later, later, later this later, is complex this two. Is, this, is a, this is after the, after the first world war. So what year is this peak? 1919. This one, 1919. Yeah. Okay, let me write this down. Sandu. This year, what year was this? This is the this is, this is about 1946. 1946. Nineteen forty to nineteen forty six. Here is this right here. This is the big before nine. This is 1910 or something. 1907. 19 what? 1907. 1907. 19, 1906. Starting from 19, 
we talked about. We looked at all this right here, and I think we've got, I think the diagram helped to explain the three concepts. Helped for me looking at things. And now we're gonna go a little forward here. Right here. You see the affinities and fugacities characterize the behavior of individuals in society. I think we just look <coughs> we just looked at that in the diagram. I think that helps explain this sentence better. And uh, this I like here. He says the uh, the son in a joint family system remains in the family just as long as the affinity of the father with the son, of the mother with the son, and of the father with the mother are to his observations the same. Once his observations observations differs, dip, observe, once he observes differences, that starts discovering limiting parameters. It is here that he finds dissimilarities, and as would be seen later, the equilibrium is disturbed and reverses its direction. So what do you mean by this? <laughs> I don't know what I'll get. It's, it's a, the same thing about a son, a son becoming a man and leaving the family? Yeah, it's, it, 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 the, 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 the memory has to separate. Okay. Once he observes the, the ability of the father with the son, or the mother with the daughter, and with the father with the son, it's the same observation. Okay. Once he observes the differences, he starts to discover the limiting parameters. Mm -hmm. What, no, what are example of this one is, what are, is, can you give the example? Affinity, the affinity of the father with the son is not the same with, with the affinity of, of the mother with the son. Mm -hmm. If there is if, if, if there is a difference in that case we attract the affinity of one or the other will dominate. Mm -hmm. And if, 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 if in case of domination in favor of the son, in favor of the mother, there will be, the, the mother will be frustrated. Yeah. And the, the, uh, in the other case, the, the uh, other way around, the, the mother would be frustrated. Mm -hmm. So the equilibrium is, is being disturbed anyway. Yeah. The smooth flow of the, the smooth, the... So this word right here, limiting parameters, what, give me an example of this limiting yeah. parameters. Limiting parameters. The limiting parameters are the, are the affinity. Okay. The limiting parameter is the, is the affinity. Okay. Affinity of one over the other is being disturbed. Okay, let's see what you got here. The observations regarding affinity are as old as civilization. That's true, they go back to Greek. Plato was the first one who talked about affinities. He said likes attract. Regarding affinity as the older as the yeah, Plato the talks about likes, of, likes attract like, and mm -hmm. uh, Plato was the first one to talk about. Plato's first law of affinity is called likes attract likes. Like birds of a feather flock together. And then, in fact, they have been introduced in the physical science through the study of human nature. Uh, and then the boy Robert Boyle quote, I, I put this in his article. Robert Boyle said, uh, I look upon the chemical reactions are interpreted as a law of This type of interpretation was, however, a controversial point, as might appear from the from Robert Wall's report in I look upon MAT and NVT as affections of intelligent beings, and I have not yet found it explained by any. How those appetites can be placed in bodies in an image and devoid of well, he may not, may not be able to understand, but the, the, the fact remains that the, the uh, alchemists were at the time thinking that gold could be produced by, they, they were 